Hey y'all, Chuck and Paige here. Mama, soy mafia. Hey, we're headed to uh, Nakon Panom this morning. I've got to take the truck to the, uh, I'm sorry, the SUV to the dealership to uh, get a battery, have the oil changed, and the tires rotate. Okay. to meet us at the dealership and uh, we'll go riding in him with his in his new truck he just bought and uh, it's gonna be a fun day today gonna bring you guys along so anyway we're headed there today gonna spend the night check into our usual hotel right there on the river and uh, it's gonna be fun I think I'm gonna take Klaus and Thun on the river boat cruise tonight uh, they've got really good ice cold beer at a really good price and uh, the scenery is awesome too. So we're going to do that. Have a fun day, I promise. Thank you for coming along with us. Here we go. Okay, we just dropped the truck off at uh, the dealer. We'll come up here and pick it up later. Klaus. Don. This is Klaus's new truck. I gave him those stickers. <laughs> Would they let you have that in Sweden? Maybe. Yeah, I like that. So this is an 04, huh? Yep. How much was this? Oh, I like your shifter there. Yeah, find it in Bangkok. How much did you pay? What? How much did you pay for the truck? 280,000. Wow, that's cheap. 280,000 baht, which is about maybe 9,000. One, one owner. One owner. Canadian man. Canadian guy. It's like 8,500. I don't know. Cool. Carrot. Did he put all the stickers on there? Yeah, but this I take away. Oh, okay. Okay, we're here at the TC resort we always stay at. Let's see if they got a room. The water is low though. It's still there. The water is just so low. <laughs> yeah, it's <crazy> low. <laughs> so I think uh, <laughs> Beautiful mountain. Ah. Hello. No one on cannot ski on the balcony. <laughs> Never know when she come in the movie. <laughs> Beautiful, huh? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Huh? Oh yeah, yeah. Today is Monday. 800 baht on a weekday. 900 on the weekend. But cheaper on the other side. But cheaper on the other side, about 600 or something. No view. Comes with the breakfast. Uh, coffee and crackers. Coffee in the morning. We gotta walk over here and get breakfast. 
or anywhere. You cannot leave that to him. No. This is a typical Thai style shower. This is a nice hotel, but it's a Thai style bathroom with the hot water heater and just a, it's a 3S bathroom. So my favorite is the fan <laughs> right here. It, we call that in Texas a fart fan. <laughs> but look, the fan, the fart fan goes right outside the door. So you probably don't want to be in the hallway in the morning time. <laughs> but anyway, 3S bathroom, shit shower and shave at the same time. Okay. No, you guys don't. Oh, yours probably goes outside. Yeah. Ours goes here. <laughs> yeah. And luckily, if it's wired correctly, it'll actually blow outside. The one we were in one time, it was. Blow inside. It closed it because it was the wired backwards and it was going inside. Actually, nothing because it was sucking through the fence. Thailand. I've recommended this hotel quite a few times. It's right off of the main street here. But right next to it, you can rent a moped. I mean a moped. You can rent a bicycle. And uh, they also have uh, electric, electric bicycles. So anyway, if you don't feel like pedaling too much. And also it's right next to the Indogene Indoor Market. No air condition though, but it is indoor. And right here on the corner, if you come here, you gotta come here and get the uh, rice soup for breakfast. It's really good, but it's a huge bowl. It's really too much. But it's so good that you'll finish it. But they have good food. They have good food there also. But coffee, this guy here sells old fashioned coffee and you can get coffee. He's here early in the morning. Really good coffee. In the markets in Thailand, always the same. Really always the same stuff. Some stores are bigger than the other. But it's, all, it's always the same. But it is fun to come look. Paige wants that. Look, a, tin, a ninja turtle. Oh. Lollipop. You want a tent? You want to go walk in there? Yeah. They come every time we have it. Yesterday we walked around here. Oh. Can we look at the guns? Good in Sweden when it's cold. Because uh, when you're freezing on your neck, you're cold as like shit. Go. Uh, he's got a lot of air guns and uh, a lot of stuff that people like to carry in their cars, you know. Sword. <laughs> but those look, if you were to pull that out in the United States, you would get shot to death. Yeah. You must have the red on the yeah. front. But somebody would still kill you to think it might be a gun, a real gun, you know. 1911 and yeah. And Glock. Yeah, this. This is a BB gun. <laughs> Can you imagine carrying that around? You can have it when you bicycle. Oh, yeah, I like that. Off your back. <laughs> That'd be like the Terminator, right? <laughs> I, could, I could mount it on my back and pull it out. But it needs to be a pump. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Mm. What does it say? Heavy. Heavy metal. Well, heavy metal. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where they went. You say your glasses run by. Yeah, run by. Ban. See, they say Ray Ban. I know they're real because I paid 150 baht for them. <laughs> so expensive. <laughs> $5. <laughs> I bought the light yesterday for the head. Oh. 
So you bought a headlight? Yeah. No. Dune, I don't think they have any camouflage stuff here. No, no, no camo. No tahan, sir tahan, my me. When the hip was I said, no hip was I. No arm. He only goes in camouflage. I think it's good to have and she pee outside. <laughs> Klaus says she wears the camouflage because uh, she likes to use it to pee outside. It's like a cloak, cloaking device. How many people will buy camouflage? No, she's got her own style going. Yeah. But now when people start to know why, then they buy too. It can be everywhere <laughs> in the woods. It'd be like India all of a sudden. <laughs> <laughs> I think she's the tattoo artist. Let's ask her. So what do you Kun put pasa English dai mai ka? Okay, let me ask her a question. So Klaus is gonna get a tattoo tomorrow. He's gonna get a cover up. This lovely lady's gonna she's gonna touch up my tattoo. But she said, uh, she said, uh, Sipsi Chamon. Jet Chamon. Jet Chamon. I like, see? Sip Chamon, Jet Chamon. Not just Sip. Okay. Maybe 10 hours it'll be finished, but they have a tattoo parlor here in the uh, Indogene, Indogene market. So Klaus is going to come get his covered up. We'll see it next time. He's got a bulldog. And he wants, he says he pays too much tax for that, so he wants to change it. So, anyway, awesome. I'm gonna ride my bike up here to get her to do it, maybe a couple hours each time, so. I better stop checking her out. I'm just gonna slap the crap out of me. <laughs> just, kidding. just kidding. We're gonna sit at the restaurant I told you to eat breakfast at. They've got good food here. There's always a ton of people here. So we'll see how lunch is. It's right by the river too. Yeah. Okay, Thai word of the day. Jam Dai. Jam Dai means remember, can remember. Yes, I remember. Jam Dai. Jam is remember. Dai is yes, I remember. So to not remember is jam my die. Jam my die. Jam. Jam die. Remember. Right? Jam die. What's the meaning of jam die? And it times together with that too. Well that was very good. How was yours? Good? How was it? Good? Good. Cool. Very good food. Can't pass up the uh, grilled banana. Can you take a walk with the sticker? Which way? That way? This way? Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Ice cream. Kakuna ka. Chokdina ka. Okay, I can't eat, and this like rice in there too. Mm -hmm. Klaus ordered a carbon fiber sticker for his hood. Uh, he wants to cover his hood with with a sticker. But this place. Uh, can make any sticker. Thai people love stickers. Yeah, carbon fiber.
Mm -hmm. The water is down so much right now. There's a Payana statue entering Nakompanom. A lot of times the uh, boats coming from La, they can drop the people off. But they know they've got to go check into the immigration office right here. But the stairway here, like the boats will come drop them here, too. And they'll buy supplies to bring back. And then they can come over here. All they need is a ID, an ID card or a passport. And then they get a stamp, they get a paper with a stamp. I don't know how much the fee is. It's not much. It's actually in, written in Lao language right there. But to go, Thai people can do the same. They can go over there. But the fee is uh, more. And depending on where you're going, the fee is more. Mm -hmm. Sometimes they say, oh, it's, this is the fee, and then it's 50 baht. And then you get down the road, and it's another 50 baht. And then another 50 baht. It's too hot. It is hot. It says that the Clock Tower Memorial it was constructed by Vietnamese immigrants in 1960 to, co to commemorate their return to their homeland after the war ended. This clock tower is 50 meters in height and is located by the Mekong waterfront. The Vietnamese built the clock tower to present their cordial and friendship. Yeah, too many big words. Awesome. It's off to the French wall. Uh, I look like a tourist. A tourist. So what they hop? It's about in my heart. Very good, very good. Very good, very good. Uh, my Jack America. Uh, America. Banyo Tapanom. My Jack Tapanom. Louisiana. My Thai. Close. One over. Texas. Texas. Koi Bai Mai. Koi Bai Mai. Louisiana. Louisiana. Oh. You like uh, Cajun food? Ahan, Ahan Cajun. My alloy. My alloy. Tell my Cam, 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 Pet, Cam Pet. Choke me in a car. Choke me in a car. Lawn. Lawn. Those guys, uh, those guys are all staring at us and they look kind of rough. First impression is all the guys kind of tattoos everywhere. When you talk to them, they're like your brothers, you know, the nicest people you can talk to. Tuai. Chinese temple. There's just as many Chinese temples in Thailand. That's a big girl right there. Paige said I should walk next to her to look skinny. That's mean.
Come on. She don't have teeth. <laughs> <laughs> My truck is ready. My SUV is ready at the dealership. Oh, she is in a hurry. I'm not sure. Okay, we are at the awesome brand new clean Toyota dealership to uh, get my SUV. Looks like they just bought a car, cool. Busy today. Okay, done. 5,600 baht. So that's uh, somewhere around $170, I think. The, the batteries are expensive in time. Well, I shouldn't say expensive. They're about the same price in the US and maybe a little cheaper. The battery itself was 3,800 baht. Uh, the oil change is always a little expensive for these diesel engines. But I had a full detail done to it for free. My own My own Okay, choke me in a cup, cup and cup. Anyway, it's nice and clean. Sa'at, sa'at now. Okay. I gotta put my seat back. Okay, let's go. So yeah, it wasn't too bad. The expense the expensive parts always seems to be the oil change. But uh yeah. It's not like I need a battery all the time, but the battery's guaranteed for one year. Which in the US they guarantee them I think for five years. Anyway, we're not in the US. There's a cool new little motorcycle shop here in the Companoma. I'm gonna video with my phone because I don't want to bring my camera. I don't know if I can video in here or not, but I want to bring you guys to check some of this stuff out. Oh. Oh, it's a new the new dealership that sells this old style. Uh, it's a uh, Royal Enfield. These were popular during the war. Yeah. A subscriber of mine bought one. He told me about this dealership, but I didn't know where it was. He bought this exact one, but with a sidecar. That's the Cadillac version? I like this one. Okay. Okay. This is, uh, I'm going to get that for my bicycle. How, yeah. much, how much is that bike? Huh? I don't have my glasses on. You know how much that is on there? Does it say? Yeah. $169.80. 169,000 baht. And if you like to have it side corner, 258,000. That probably doesn't come with a sidecar, though. <laughs> no, it's optional. Uh, I like the black. See that? <laughs> I'm going to uh, I'm going to ride this one here I'm going to go just take it for a quick test drive I can't bring you guys along
That was cool. What do you think about that, guys? How about a sidecar with a get page like like helmet with the goggles? <laughs> That'd make some good video, huh? Anyway, those things are pretty inexpensive, very comfortable to ride. It's a 500 cc. Uh, I, in America, you can't just jump on a motorcycle and, and go take it for a test drive. You can, but not that easy. <laughs> and now, definitely make sure you're wearing a helmet. <laughs> Here, it's like, oh, you want to go? No problem. You're wearing flip flops, no helmet, no. You could be like just out of prison for stealing a car, you know? Sure, take it. Funny. Thailand's funny. I love Thailand. Australia. Okay, we're gonna sit up here in the uh, old top or no Indogene upstairs. Up here in this area, there's about three massage places too. You could come up here and get a foot massage, a Thai massage, or just sit up here and uh, drink a beer. They've got decent food up here too. <laughs> we're just sitting here having a nice quiet conversation enjoying the breeze and the water it's always so loud this guy this guy over here with the orange thing around it, this is his truck he opens the door turns the shit on it's very as loud as it can go closes locks it and then goes over by the water <laughs> Why? Oh, he's, he's advertising for the place that we're sitting at. Yeah, we can go get some more uh, Mu Toy. Okay, let's, uh, let's go ahead and get on the boat. We can get on like an hour or so early and just order some beer. Maybe we might want to go off. Oh, you have to pay. We're gonna buy skin beer, huh? Song Loy. You you can pay later. Uh, when you uh, would like to check uh, bin when you uh, oh, okay. okay, right. Put pasta in the gang. Oh, thank you. Okay. Don't need it. I'm sorry. You cannot come out. You cannot come out. You just leave there. Yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I do have a blanket. Okay, okay. We will take care okay. of you. And she speaks very good English. Very yeah. good. Thank you. Just watch your step. Up to you. Be careful. Okay, thank you. I don't have insurance. <laughs> My insurance expired. <laughs> it's okay if I fall, it's probably already up. I make crowds. If I fall, it's probably a pre existing condition anyway. The water is so low, they had to craft a bridge. There are like three people of it on the ship. <laughs> hey, Dun. That's what happens when you don't pay. When you don't have the 200 baht, they just bury you right there. Full kitchen. Why now? Go. Wanna sleep down? Why now? Okay. Hello. 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 So what they have? <laughs> the men's that one and the women's are yeah. Yeah. all the way out back you pee off the back yeah bye so what day hop that's where the karaoke is but they may not have it tonight what number do you like? 16? Okay. You want to sit by the by the water in case I fall off? I don't know what Chang. Pick up. No. Chang. 
Yeah, you, get, you can get two Chang, one Leo, whatever. So it's 270 baht for three large beers. Much better deal. Chang, 259. Be careful. This. Here. Look at this guy's fishing. He's got a gigantic. Oh, he's trying to catch our dinner. Maybe they speak later. Sorry on the menu today. Choke me, Nakap. Choke me. Okay. Out, out, to a yai, Kap. To a yai. Okay. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> suit. 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 What's, what's, what's the suit though? Do you? Oh, sorry. <laughs> suit soy. Is it suit soy? Oh, Thai. So you can try to speak Finnish or something. Come <laughs> This is a, a Thai spaghetti. It's called spaghetti kimao, mm -hmm. which is a weird name for me because ki is like shit. <laughs> Mao is drunk. So. Mm -hmm. La. Okay. Good, very good, very good. Same with taste. We always have the good taste. Taste. Okay, we're off. We still have plenty of food in case we get stuck on a sandbar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and plenty of beer. Yeah. Life is good. Laos over here. Not there, that's Paige. <laughs> I'll repeat what Klaus just said. Life is good. Life is good in top and the comb panom. Go ahead, Mountain Mama. <laughs> it's okay, you're on YouTube. <laughs> Is she doing yoga or dancing? <laughs> <laughs> I take them to this boat. Okay. Then you find you then you find your best friend for me too. You like the bread? What about what about tunes dancing skills? I know but I don't marry but you don't say anything. I think we ordered too much food, but we definitely got too many beers. <laughs> so 15, 15 beers of food was about a hundred dollars. It was what, 3,000 what? Like, like 3,200 baht. Yeah, about a hundred, a hundred US dollars. That's cheap. 
Are you full? Full. Well, my parents were German. They can't drink beer. <laughs> Klaus. Klaus is Swedish, but his name is Klaus because his parents were German. from Germany. And, uh, everybody in Germany can drink beer. Yeah. Hot beer. Hot beer? right now we're having a hilarious conversation I've been crying for like 10 minutes yeah. <laughs> we met a uh, wonderful lady here her name is I and she speaks perfect English right? she uh, was married to an Englishman for 10 years Great host, great place. I'm so I've been crying for like ten minutes. She should be a comedian. It's <laughs> then dance. Good morning. <laughs> Things got a little out of control last night. Uh, yeah, I think we had about uh, maybe close to thirty beers on the table last night. Anyway, we had a good time. You guys had a good time? Yeah. Very good food. The bill was, uh, well, it's 200 baht per person to enter the boat. So, but all together with all the beer and the food, it was like 30, 3,000 something baht, which wasn't bad for four people and all the beer. <laughs> 
We gotta find some breakfast this morning and then we're gonna head back home. <laughs> well, that was a good breakfast. A nice, cool, neat little place to eat mm -hmm. on the side of the river here. Nice breeze. Because we had to go inside because the curtains kept blowing in our face. But the food is good. They have a little, uh, the Kalpi Xen is good, which is a, uh, it's kind of a Vietnamese noodle soup, like a pho. In Thailand, they call it Kalpi Xen. And uh, they had a good sandwich. So the sandwich is something that I could eat when I come here and go on my bike ride. It's not real big, but filling. So I can get home. If I eat too much, it's not good. Okay, we're going to pack up and get ready to go. It's been a great uh, trip here in the Kom Phanom. Had a fun time. You guys uh, coming to Thailand should come visit the Kom Phanom for sure. The Kom Phanom's easy to get here. 45 minute airplane ride from Bangkok to the Kom Phanom airport. Shuttle bus to take you right into town for no money. So. Come check out uh, Isan. I think you'll like it better than Pattaya. Well, I say that. It's different. <laughs> anyway, guys, thanks for coming. Shit, I'm spitting on myself. Anyway, guys, <laughs> thanks for coming. Uh, don't forget to click the like button and subscribe if you hadn't. We have a lot of traveling coming ahead. Uh, I think in the next couple days we're going to get ready to leave. So subscribe, hit like, share. I'll see you guys uh, on the next video. Bye. Bye. It's Year of the Pig, in case you didn't know. But they still have the Year of the Chicken and the Year of the Dog. Mm -hmm. But this year is Year of the Pig, so I have an excuse now.